What we have here is all new Hilux. It's the first all new Hilux in 10 years. Now, that's a big deal in Australia because Hilux is not only the best selling full drive in the country, it has been for a long time, but it's a very uh, significant new car in the overall new car market. Generally, sells number two or number three against you know, smaller passenger cars like Corolla and the like. Look, the key here is the new 2.8 litre global diesel. It replaces the 3 litre diesel that was used in the previous generation Hilux. This engine is also used in Prado now and in Fortuna, which is a wagon based on the Hilux. It comes with either a six-speed automatic or a six-speed manual. Here we're driving the six-speed manual. And with the manual gearbox, it produces 130 kilowatts and 420 newton metres. With the automatic, the torque's ramped up to 450 newton metres. But the difference being is with the 420, it's produced over a broader RPM range, which means a nice flat sort of torque curve and nice progressive power. This is an SR Extra Cab. The key deal here is this extra doors at the back, which gives access to a storage space and two little jump seats. I mean, these seats aren't really good for any long distance, but they're good for emergency, shorter distance. You can even fit two adults in there, provided you don't have to travel too far. You've also got a lot of good storage space and lock-up. The big benefit over a double cab is you pick up about 300 millimetres. We had a foot in the old money of extra tray space. Alright, we're out in the open road in this new Hilux. Pretty comfy driving position. It's got um, tilt and reach steering wheel adjustment in this new model. And at the spec level, you've got seat height adjustment, so it's pretty comfortable for, well, I'm only short, but it's comfortable for me, but I know it's comfortable for tall drivers as well. I mean, being a yet, the ride comfort's a bit firm at the back. Uh, in the Hilux's defence, it does carry its payload very well, you know, as well, if not better than most of its competitors. And the downside is that unladen, it does ride a little bit firm at the back, but Still not too bad. Up front, steering's nice, got a nice positive feel, much better than the old model. The real beauty about this car over is this new 2.8 litre diesel engine. It's smaller than the old one, and most importantly, it runs a much lower compression ratio, and that's important because it makes it quieter, smoother, more refined, and it reduces the nitrous oxide emission, which is a you know, big problem in modern diesels. And it does that off the back of improved combustion efficiency, it just burns the fuel better, what the, what the engineers call thermal efficiency. What is this made of this new six-speed manual gearbox, which has got two overdrive gears, so fifth and sixth are overdrive, and 100 kilometres per hour like we're doing now, it's only doing 1500 RPM, but because it makes maximum torque from as low as, well in the, the manual spec, it comes on, on stream at 1400 RPM and stays undiminished to 2600 rpm it will carry that 1500 rpm at 100 kilometers per hour without any problems at all so it's you know, good fuel efficiency it's very relaxed sort of easy lap to it so very easy car to drive long distances <laughs>